House of the Dragon takes a breather in this fourth episode, titled King of the Narrow Sea, after the action-packed sequence in which Daemon Targaryen's blood-soaked victorious figure stood tall to close the previous episode. A name is reminiscent of Daemon. This episode delves into the kingdom's politics and how desires can turn into folly in those situations. The episode has fewer actions per se, but it is full of intriguing possibilities. The fourth episode begins with Princess Renera, Millie Alcock, sifting through a selection of men in the Hall of Storm's End, the ancestral seat of House Baratheon. Of both tender and advanced years. Her father, King Viserys, Patty Considine, has sent her to find a suitable match for her and her house. Evidence suggests that Damon's, Matt Smith, demolition of the crab feeder occurred more than a year ago. Renera abruptly ends her journey of scouting and procuring a husband and returns to King's Landing. Damon, dubbed King of the Narrow Sea for his victories over Crabfeeder and the Triarchy, returns to his brother's court. He immediately abdicates his throne and swears allegiance to Viserys. In a Targaryen reunion, Viserys embraces his brother. She returns just in time to witness the arrival of yet another Targaryen. The passage of time has also restored Renera's friendship with the queen, Alicent, Emily Carey. The patriarchal confinement of royalty appears to have healed the previously sour friendship. The romantic entanglement between Daemon and his niece, Renera, has been hinted at and anticipated, given House Targaryen's reputation for incest. Daemon leads Renera through the king's landing alleys at night. Renera partakes in the city's nightly fervor. She witnesses a street performance while dabbling in street food and then visits the local brothel with Damon by her side. What began as fun and frolic ends in fornication. Damon convinces Renera to take whatever she wants. According to him, marital responsibilities should not be a hindrance. Renera and Damon, taken in by the excitement, surrender to each other's arms. Damon, on the other hand, hesitates after a while and does not go any further than kissing. He leaves the pleasure palace, leaving Renera to find her way home. Renera isn't about to give up the freedom she feels tonight. She creeps inside the palace, hoping to go unnoticed by Sir Kristen Cole, Fabian Frankel, who is stationed at her door. Renera leads Sir Kristen inside and begins to undress him. Sir Kristen yields after a brief protest and begins assisting Renera in removing his armor. In contrast, Viserys has sex with Queen Alicent while there is no passion involved in the lovemaking between Kristen Cole and Renera. Renera's hope of remaining unseen is quickly dashed. Damon's former paramour, Mazaria, Sonoya Mizuno, is now a master of whisperers in King's Landing. One of her spies spots Renera with her uncle in the pleasure house and informs the king's hand, Otto Hightower, Reese Evans. Otto rushes to inform King Viserys of the same news. Unbeknownst to Otto, Alicent, his daughter, and the queen, overhears this. Alicent informs Renera that she has been observed. Renera emphatically denies having sexual relations with Damon. She assures Alicent that she has not been tainted or lost her virginity. Viserys summons Damon to his court after learning of the alleged coupling between his daughter and his brother. Alone. Damon, visibly hungover, does not refute the allegations. On the contrary, he asks Renera for her hand in marriage. Targaryen customs permits it. Viserys, on the other hand, reminds Damon of his lawful wife in Vale. And, once again, he exiles Damon to Vale and orders him to stay out of his way. Viserys' banishment of Damon is not his only kingly act. He summons Renera and reminds her of her responsibilities to the kingdom and the house. Viserys mentions the prophecy of the Song of Ice and Fire once more. He reminds Renera that humanity's fate is more important than any desires she may have. The king takes the time and makes the decision to marry Renera to Laenor Valerion. To mend the strained bond between the two dragon houses. Renera backs down from her decision. She does, however, ask Viserys to see through Otto's plans to plant spies on her. Viserys has already questioned Otto's motives. 
It has become clear to him that the king's hand wishes for his own grandson to be named heir. Viserys deposes Otto from his position as the realm's second most powerful man. Viserys also sends Renera a herbal tea that night. The tea would eliminate any unnecessary complications, implying that it would function as a birth control contraceptive measure. Viserys clearly indicates that, despite Renera's claim that she has no sex, which is false, she does not believe her and believes that Damon and Renera have engaged in sexual activities, as only Renera and Cole are aware of their own encounter.